So hey everybody, welcome. Um, I'm going to scoot through this video presentation as quickly as I can because I've only got so much time to do it. I mean, at this point with the uh, self-isolation going on for families across the country, uh, getting time alone alone can be uh, pretty uh, pretty short. And so I do not have a lot of time alone. In fact, my daughter is still here right now. She just happens to be in the other room doing whatever 12-year-old girls do on a computer, which is kind of frightening. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today very briefly uh, is the songwriting uh, from Glenn Fry and Don Henley, the two main men from the Eagles. I've become a big Eagles fan over the years. Um, I was a Don Henley fan uh, and Glenn Fry fan, really, uh, much longer before I got into the Eagles music, believe it or not. So, but one of the things I realized uh, over the last few years is it's very interesting to note um, who wrote all the popular uh, Eagles songs. And when you get right down to it, and I'm not saying that this means anything in particular, but I find it interesting uh, that Glenn Fry, neither Glenn Fry nor Don Henley, wrote any popular songs that they have recorded uh, by themselves. Uh, now, granted, there were some songs that the two of them wrote together that were popular, but there was not a song that was just written by Glenn Fry only, nor was there a song that's ever been written by just Don Henley only uh, that's been a, a solid, good, popular song. Uh, again, does that mean anything? I, I don't really know, but I find it really intriguing. Let's go through the catalogs real quickly. Uh, and this includes, by the way, not just Eagles songs, but their solo work as well. When you go back to the first Eagles album, uh, Witchy Woman was uh, written uh, with Bernie Ledden, I have down here. I, I think it was Don Henley with Bernie. Yeah, I think it was Don Henley with Bernie, Bernie Ledden, who was in the Eagles at the time. So good song sung by Don Henley, but not written by himself alone. Um, I'm going to cruise through some of these kind of quickly, but I want to catch them all so you get my drift. Uh, Take It Easy was actually uh, a Jackson Brown song, if you know the story. It was a song that he was having a hard time finishing. Uh, they were living in the same building uh, with Glenn Fry, or Jack Jackson Brown was, and Glenn Fry f kept hearing the song and ended up finishing the song, um, and uh, the rest is history. Uh Peaceful, Easy Feeling wasn't even written by any of the Eagles. It was written by Jack Temchin, who is a friend uh, of uh, the Eagles and, and, and a longtime songwriter. I think more of a friend of Glenn Fry's, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now, Tequila Sunrise and Desperado were written both uh, by Don Henley and Glenn Fry together. So those are a couple of examples uh, where the two of them, together and alone, wrote a couple of good Eagles songs. Uh, but again, they needed each other, you know. Uh, Certain Kind of Fool is a song that I really like, uh, and not a hugely popular song, but still one that you've probably heard before. It's sung by Randy Meisner, the original bass player. It was actually written by Henley and Fry and Randy Meisner, okay? Already Gone, one of my favorite Eagles songs, uh, wasn't even written by any Eagle. It was written by Jack Temption and, uh, and a guy named Rob Strandlin. So, uh, James Dean, another popular one, but not like a single was written by Henley Fry, J.D. Souther, another friend uh, and songwriter, uh, and Jackson Brown. Uh, Best of My Love, Henley Fry, Souther. You see where I'm going here. One of These Nights, Henley and Fry together. Lion Eyes, Henley and Fry together. Okay, Take It to the Limit, also sung by Randy Meisner, was written by Henley Fry uh, and Randy Meisner. After the Thrill is Gone was Henley, Henley and Fry. Uh, Hotel California, widely known, uh, if you, especially if you've read Don Felder's biography like I have, uh, was originally done by Don Felder. It didn't have any words, but the whole aura of the song and the feel of the song and the chord progression and kind of that, that uh, southwestern flair to it, that was all Don Felder. But then, of course, the lyrics and the rest of it were done by Don Henley um, and Glenn Fry. In fact, uh, Don Felder's name is always listed first on the credits. Uh, and then it goes Henley and Fry. So it's not even in alphabetic order when you think about it. Uh, new Kid in Town, Don Henley, uh, Glenn Fry, and J.D. Souther. Again, you know, again, it's, it's, it's interesting to note that they kept adding this, the J.D. Souther's and the Jack Temptions. Uh, did they need to? 
Uh, maybe they did, huh? I mean, I don't know. Uh, new Kid in Town. I just said that one. Life in the Fast Lane was Henley Fry and Joe Walsh. I think it was a riff that Joe Walsh was playing. That's kind of where that started. Uh, Wasted Time, Henley Fry. The Long Run was Henley Fry. I Can't Tell You Why, sung by Timothy B. Schmidt, the new bass player in 79. He co-wrote that song with Henley and Fry. Heartache Tonight, here's one. Henley Fry, J.D. Souther, and Bob Seger, friend of Glenn Fry's from Detroit. Uh, Those Shoes, Henley Fry, Felder. Uh, Seven Bridges Road wasn't even written by any of them. It was written by a guy named Steve Young. Uh, Get Over It from the uh, Hell Freezes Over record. Henley Fry. Uh, Love Will Keep Us Alive uh, wasn't written by any of them either. Uh, the Girl from Yesterday was written by Glenn Fry with, you guessed it, Jack Temption. Learn to Be Still was Henley and Stan Lynch. Uh, Hole in the World, which was written about uh, 9-11 in 2002 or 2003, was Henley and Fry together once again. And that kind of sums up their career if you don't go into the double disc that they did in the mid-2000s. But let's look real quickly, too, at Don Henley's solo uh, popular songs and Glenn Fry's as well. You know, you would think that when these guys go solo, they're like, I'm going to go solo and I'm going to do my own songs, right? But that's not what they did. Yes, they sang all of their songs, but they didn't write any songs, hardly any songs by themselves, interestingly enough. I think this is interesting. Uh, Dirty Laundry, Don Henley and Danny Kochmar wasn't just Don Henley, okay? The Boys of Summer, one of my favorite songs of all time. That was really what introduced me as a young teenage boy to Don Henley. That was written by Don Henley and Mike Campbell from the Heartbreakers of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers fame. So kind of makes you wonder how much of that was Mike Campbell and how much of it was Don Henley, doesn't it? Uh, Not Enough Love in the World was also on Building the Perfect Beast, uh, Don Henley's second solo album. That was written by Don Henley, the Korchmar, again, Danny Korchmar, and another guy from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Ben Montench, the, the piano player and keyboard player from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. All She Wants to Do is Dance wasn't even written by Don Henley at all. It was written just by Danny Korchmar. Uh, Sunset Grill was, again, Henley, Korchmar, and Tench. Um, the only song that was around in those first couple of albums that Don Henley wrote by himself was a song called A Month of Sundays, just written by Don Henley. It was such a good song, you've never heard of it before. I don't know. Uh, the End of the Innocence was, of course, written by Don Henley and Bruce Hornsby. Literally, you can tell that was Bruce Hornsby with the piano work. You could probably, you could hear Bruce Hornsby singing that song in your head when you hear Don Henley singing that song. Uh, The Last Worthless Evening was written by a guy named John Corey, Stan Lynch, and Don Henley. New York Minute, Henley, Korchmar, and somebody else whose name I can't pronounce. The Heart of the Matter uh, was Mike Campbell again from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, J.D. Souther, and Don Henley. Again, nothing by Don Henley by himself. And let's take a quick look at Glenn Frey's solo career, which is a little bit shorter. Uh, he had The One You Love, was written by himself, Glenn Fry, and Jack Temption. Uh, all Those Lies was a song written by Glenn Fry all by himself. But you've never heard of the song. Neither have I. Unless you're a diehard and you've, you're an album cut kind of guy, you'd know that song. I haven't even listened to it before. I couldn't even tell you if it's good. It's not really my point here. Uh, the songs The All-Nighter, Sexy Girl, Smuggler's Blues from his album The All-Nighter were written by J- Glenn Fry and Jack Temption. Uh, another song I liked a lot from Thelma and Louise uh, was Part of Me, Part of You, written by Fry and Temption. Um, popular song from, I believe it was Beverly Hills Cop, uh, The Heat Is On, Harold Faltermeyer and Keith Forsey wrote it. Glenn Fry didn't, didn't even write that song, but it was a huge hit, right? And the song, You Belong to the City, which I think was from Miami Vice, if I recall correctly, uh, that was written by Glenn Fry and Jack Temption. So there you have it. A lot of popular songs that were on the radio that we've all, most of us, I should say, unless you're like the dude, you know, Big Lebowski, uh, you know, all of us kind of appreciated a few of those songs over history, right? Uh, But none of them 
none of them were written by just Don Henley or just Glenn Fry. Did they sing a lot of those songs, just Don Henley and just Glenn Fry? Yes, 99% of them, one of those guys, you know, 98% of them, one of those guys sang the songs, with the exception of maybe the songs that were sang by Timothy B. Schmidt or, or Randy Meisner. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. But I find it very interesting to note um, that these guys tend to write with other people successfully, but don't get a chance to write anything on their own, or maybe don't, or don't want to take the chance to write something on their own over the years. I really don't know what that means. But I thought it was interesting. I wanted to share it with you. These are the kinds of things that actually go through my head all the time. And I, I want to do more videos like this to share thoughts and things with you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. I do a lot of different things here, and I like to do more if they're uh, watched and, and enjoyed. So for now, I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much for joining me. I am Brad Carl saying so long and happy quarantine. We'll see you.